Hello viewers, it's Super GT here again. Driven the start of another A-Class race. Back in the Ford Mustang and we are driving around a Road America. Um, so before I start um, talking about my plans for the future, I'm just going to start commentating on this race. I have a bit of a bad dodgy start here, let's say. That BMW that's just gone past, you'll see. Coming out of these first two right-hand corners. I tried to go up on this right, but he just carries on turning right. I'm not sure what he's thinking there. Um, Normally coming out of the right hand corner you, you, you go out to the left because of the power pushes you out to the left But he's not maximising the track width Do the same here, try to go up on his right and then he just carries on turning right But yeah Sometimes you, you, you get incompetence like that, I'm not sure why he's doing that but Anyway, yeah, so back to the title of the video um, My plans for the future So obviously this year is quite a big, big year, or well, quite a big year, I say it's a very big year for gaming, obviously with the release of the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, which makes it a very big year for gaming. Um, so in chrono chronological order, um, the first game I'm going to be getting before the release actually of those consoles is Grand Theft Auto 5. Obviously been waiting years for this one and I think this is going to be the sequel to GTA San Andreas that GTA 4 should have been. I don't think GTA 4 lived up to the hype really. So, obviously as a racing channel I try and keep it to the automotive side of the game. So, I'll be playing for the career mode, or career mode, the story mode, like everyone will be. But if there's any missions, say like, car orientated, then I'll try and make guides on those if I can. Or, uh, like the online racing, I'll be doing that as well, because I actually remember playing that in GJ4. The online racing was actually quite fun. Um, also the GTA race were funny as well because you could get your car and start shooting other people which is quite a weird twist for racing so yeah I'll be playing that online definitely and um, because obviously that's going to be one of the biggest games of this well, decade probably so we'll definitely be playing that one for a while um, so yeah September 17th that one comes out so three and a half weeks away not too far away now and then the game after that I'll be getting is well, actually, I'll be getting FIFA at the end of um, at the end of September, but obviously, as a racing channel, I won't be showing any of that. And the next game after that will be Formula One 2013 um, in Europe. That comes out October the fourth, and in North America, comes out October the eighth. So that's the rare occasion where Europe gets a game before North America. But I don't think the F1 following in North America is as strong as it is in Europe, so not too much of a problem. So yeah, that's October the 4th for me. I'll be getting that. Um, I buy my games from shop2.net, so they often give games a day early, so I might even get it on the 3rd. So yeah, that game, obviously if you've been subscribed to me for a while, so since last year maybe, uh, you'll see that my F1 2012 videos were largely orientated around the penalty system and well how bad it was so hopefully they've ironed those out but from the gameplay I've seen maybe they haven't but you know let's wait and see um, so yeah also there's classic cars and tracks in the game so tracks like Hareth, uh, Brands Hatch, uh, Estoril and obviously all the old like Williams and F1, F1 uh, Ferrari cars from the 90s and 80s so we'll obviously be giving all those a try tracks and the cars, seeing what they're like, maybe they're, diff maybe they're completely different from the new cars, or well, that remains to be seen, so yeah, I'll be trying those out. And then after that, we have the release of Xbox One and Forza 5, so Forza 5 is a launch title for the console, I'll be getting both on release day, I'll be trying to get the limited edition if I can, because obviously this is one of the games I'll be playing for a long while long while to come because obviously I'm still playing Forza 4 and that came out two years ago um, so yeah I'm very much looking forward to that one so three good games coming out between now and Christmas let's say uh, and yeah so the future does look bright hopefully you can keep subscribed to me or if you're not already subscribed then subscribe if you want to see gameplay from those games and guides um, yeah got smashed into the wall there by that guy I don't know what he was doing um, so yeah, I hope that makes my future plans very clear. Just three games I'll be keeping to for the near future. 
keep it nice and simple and yeah I'll go and send this guy a message he's I'm not sure what he's thinking there I think he made a mistake got a bit defensive didn't want to lose that race so he just had to smash me into the wall but anyway yeah I hope that makes my future plans clear if you want um, if, well to by all means just post your comments and thoughts in the comment section below if you have any and thank you very much for watching this video guys and I'll see you next time I'll be trying to make a few more videos a bit more regularly so maybe two next week see you next time goodbye